Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we will make the oil grooves for the saddle. First, we will uh, open the groove with this uh, two flute end mill. I will place here. Let me remove those things. And after, I will use this uh, radius end mill. How is made? I don't know if you clearly can see this uh, profile. At the tip is flat and that is why I will open the groove first. And after here, I have 0.3 degree radius. I will make a quick sketch. And after that, we can try with this 0.5 radius. Let's put both here. Practically, those uh, and new are made in this way. Why this is very important? Because uh, will make this kind of shape will make this kind of shape to the bearing surface. This means that when uh, we will put the oil, the oil can easily flow outside. Because if those uh, are 90 degree or less, you know, it doesn't, doesn't matter for sure, if we make a chamfer, it will be better, but the best is uh, to have a radius here. This corner will make like a wiper, and uh, the oil will uh, have the tendency to, to remain inside the groove. But in this way, in truth, the oil will easily flow outside from the bottom to the surface now we don't have to go crazy here you know i place here this uh, precision t groove uh, spacer I don't want to tie it too much and we don't need stop like this because I don't want to bend the saddle. I go crazy with this uh, with this saddle on the scrapping, you know. So those are the existing oil groove are too small, you know. How can you uh, oil the the bearing surface okay that I work uh, that I grind and after I scrape but anyway it was horrible you know now with the two flute end mill we will open um, this one following the original but uh, as you can see the original didn't was centered to the oiler hole you know so now I will go in this way and uh, will follow the existing design. 
First, we will make here two straight groove, one here and one there, and the same here and there. And after, I will angle in order to make the long groove. Unfortunately, I lost the, the footage. Uh, I make here the four vertical at 10 millimeter each, and I use the two flute uh, and mill. But uh, it's okay. Now we will uh, make this one, the longer one, with the radius and mill, 0.5 millimeter. Okay. Now we go to the to make the other two. Stop. And it's fine. Hey, okay. Now we go here in diagonal because I find the the two points from A to B. And we make the oil groove. Now the same things to the other side. Good. And also the second one is done. And it's nice. You know you can see here the the round shape very little because it's 0 0.4 you know let me check 0 0.4 radius unfortunately i didn't find a, a smaller hand mill than this one 
and easier. Nice. Now with the stone we will remove the the bevel here. Very light. Okay, and we are here. I bought this nozzle to two different dimensions, four millimeter and six millimeter, are on good quality. The original was very, very bad, you know. And here you have also some uh, more support because if you need to remove, uh, you can. So what I want to do now, I want to enlarge this hole a little because uh, I don't want to push inside because I don't want deformation, you know? And the best way to do it is to enlarge have to be tight, tight fit, but not too much. And I will put two drop of crazy glue here to block on place the the nozzle. This is uh, here the final result, and as you can see, it's very nice. The round shape is not too much because I didn't find uh, a, a, a smaller end mill but uh, with the bigger uh, radius but it's fine it's better than uh, than before 100 percent you know I'm quite happy about this so I have to enlarge four four holes here and I will do with a 6.2 millimeter drill bit because uh, this one is 6.5 is too big I cannot use and I don't have a, a smaller one but uh, the smaller dimension that I have is 6.2 now we go to the drilling machine and we will enlarge this one and after oops and after we will place the nozzle Perfetto. E voilà.
and easier, quite nice. For this video I'm done, please put a like and subscribe, see you the next one.